Hello agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. In today's video we're going to be going over the build that I did the gameplay footage for yesterday. This is the Eagle Bearer solo build. I understand area. a lot of agents that are solo would never have the Eagle Bearer. But of course to get the Eagle Bearer you got to be in a group. But after you get out of that raid with that group and you get that Eagle Bearer. You can just solo, dolo all day long. All right, let's hop right into it. All right, well, let's get this build started. So, obviously, we have the Eagle Bear. Keep in mind, I have 10 firearms, 7 defensive, and only a measly 2 skill power. But it's enough to use these two skills. Now, the Eagle Bear, if you don't know about it, I'll go through it really fast, but I'm sure most of you know. You got that 29% health damage as the assault rifle. And with a base damage of 23k, um, 750 RPMs, and 61 in the mag. I'm sure, I think I've heard of someone getting it up to 30k damage. Could be bullshit, I don't know. But, you know, I think I read that on Reddit. So, we got Eagle Strike. Accuracy increases as you continuously fire up to 100%. Headshot kills grant 100% reload speed, 50% damage, and the tenacity buff for 10 seconds. The strength of tenacity is increased by 1% for body shots and 5% for headshots. Tenacity, 40 to 80% of damage taken is delayed until the buff expires. All of the total delayed damage is reduced for each enemy killed while the buff is active up to 100% with 3 kills. And then of course protected fire. While holstered you gain 10% bonus armor while firing your current weapon. Which would be what I like the most because it works great in PvE and PvP. I shred in PvP with this vector. We're talking about measured, which I believe right now is the best for this gun. Top half of the mag has 20% rate of fire, but negative 15% weapon damage. And the bottom half of the magazine has minus 20% rate of fire and 30% total weapon damage. But I got that extra 20% magazine capacity, so I'm working with 55 in the mag. In Rhythm, while equipped enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh, active skill cooldowns can occur once every 60 seconds. And of course, people get this confused. Let me clear this up for anyone who doesn't know. While equipped and holstered are the same thing. If, it's, if it says drawn, then it's drawn. You know what I mean? So anyway, equipped and... Uh, holstered are the same thing as long as they're part of your third um, as long as they're just you know equipped and I don't know why holstered is there like on some of them it, it should be either equipped or drawn but anyway um, and then for my pistol it doesn't really matter I do like the stop drop and roll because in the division one you had this without having to have a talent, and I always believe that this is the best, best talent to have. Uh, maybe besides transmission, where you can apply that shock every like 60 seconds, um, you know, when you get shocked while it's equipped or holstered. Um, so on the vector, my mods are 8% damage to elites, 5% critical hit chance. 5% critical hit damage and that plus 20 rounds and minus 10% reload speed. But the reload speed so fast, it doesn't really matter. And anyway, and you're going to be face taking a lot with this, the Eagle Bear. Um, and of course, that's going to take a lot of skill. You're going to have to be able to nail those headshots. So be prepared. If you have the skill to do headshots, as much as possible, then this build is going to just melt and destroy everything in its path. And if you didn't notice already, I have no healing except for just this one little thing, 
We got the uh, Seeker Mine over here with the Survivalist. That's what I'm running, Survivalist. And on it, for the skill mods, I don't even think I... I just have the... Yeah. I just have the 50% healing, 80% skill haste, and Seeker skill power. Which, uh, you know, th th it's good. It's, it's nice when you're in a jam and you don't want to use an armor kit. But you're not really going to be using an armor kit that much. You can use the fire grenades, but sometimes these concussion grenades are a lot better. So it's up to you. Um, PvP, it'd probably be better for these. But it's up to you, like I said. Now, the mods I have on the drone is 122 drone skill power in the auxiliary battery. And the SHD skin, um, you know, you get that for, you know, buying it like an asshole. Uh, the micro pulse frequency, 5.5% armor repair. I wish I had better mods for it right now, but I don't. And really, to be honest, um, you're not really working with much skill power here anyway. This is mostly a distraction, and it pulses the enemy, so he, he becomes red. You can clearly see him. And it distracts the enemies. So it's it's perfect. And it goes great in tandem. With this seeker. So while this is healing you. This is distracting and attacking them. And this is going to proc. Our first talent. That I will talk about. Perfect spark. Damaging enemies with skills or explosives. Grant plus 20% weapon damage. For 15 seconds. Now you need 9 or more. Reds for that with 15% armor attached now you can have spark on here that's 15% weapon damage either way I mean you know you're good I got critical hit chance weapon damage and skill power I would have loved to change um, one of these out like up this and just have this like this I'm working on min maxing this build as much as I can but until then, let's go on to the gloves. And I'm sorry, in the backpack was Strategic Alignment. And that's the China Light Industries Corporation. And you get 10% explosive damage with that. On the gloves, we got Sokolo of Concern. So you got that SMG damage and critical hit damage. 10% for the SMG. 8% for the critical hit damage for that vector over here. <clears throat> And this horrible roll of 2% SMG damage isn't doing anything really, but I had to get the 10% assault rifle damage in there, especially even the 1.5% critical hit chance. I'm working on a different build with Precise not being here without the extra headshot damage and seeing how it works. Down here, let's see, I got Surgical... And I was thinking about possibly swapping to this, but then I lose that critical hit damage. So for right now, I believe this is the safest, best spot to put it at. For the knee pads, I have Gila Guard, the Sidewinder knee pads. That's 5% total armor, 16,522 health, and patience. After being in cover for 5 seconds, armor repairs by 5% every 1 second. So that's one more way of you being able to heal yourself, which is really important because this is like a face tanking build. So definitely try to get these. And then, of course, you need the Fenris group. If I could and I had it, I would have the Fenris right here where the vest is, but I don't, unfortunately. So for right now, I'm running the Fenris holster. And that's with four and a half critical hit chance and 40,332 health with devastating 5% weapon damage. Once again, this isn't the perfect build. This isn't min max to its max potential, but man, for what the gameplay footage that I just recently uploaded, if you guys were impressed by that, I know I was when I finally ran heroic mode with it and actually beat it. So, um, I should have just did a video where I did solo heroic. It's challenging is actually pretty easy with this build. Heroic is a little bit of a challenge. It's a, 
it's definitely a challenge, but it's not so much with this build. And it's definitely less of a challenge with this build than if you have that merciless, you know, perfect spark, blah, blah, blah build where you're always relying on the merciless to be holstered. Anyway, moving on to the vest. Sokol of Concern, that's my second one. Got 5.5% five and five and critical hit damage, 5.5% weapon damage, 35,731 health, and 7,259 armor with Berserk. 8% weapon damage for every 20% of max armor depleted. And, of course, the offensive system. I'll go over the mods after I'm done with this. And then finally the mask everyone knows the punch drunk the DNH Douglas and Harding uh, You get that accuracy and man. I wish I could have got two of these I'm working on another build that for solo players with the Eagle Bear and I'm trying to perfect this but for right now this this build seems to just murder so I don't know why not and for some reason, I cannot find anything higher than 41% damage to elites. And I've got over 800 hours in just the Division 2 alone. And I had over 4,000 hours in the Division 1. I do not know how to get that to 55. I guess just watch my targeted loot videos I put up daily and find out where the masks are and just shred away. Especially with this build if you're solo. And of course on this one is perfect concussion. You got that headshot grant 20% headshot damage for 2 seconds. 5 seconds with marksman rifles. But we're not using any marksman rifles. You can if you want to. You could switch it out. But I wouldn't. I would keep it at the SMG. That way the eagle bear is your more longer range. The eagle bear is so accurate that it you know it's damage drop off I mean wow look at that it takes a little while you know before the damage drops off and it's so accurate it's gonna hit anyway so and we never run out of ammo in this game anyway but yeah this is mainly the build um, I'm gonna go over the mods real quick so for this mod I have oh yeah sorry that's die. So for this mod right here, I've got an offensive mod. 2.5% weapon damage, 1% damage to armor, 3% weapon handling. That's on my chest piece. On my knee pads, I have, well, two defensive mod slots. That's 6,924 health, 705 armor regeneration, and 2.5% extra incoming healing. And then 4,500 armor, 4,500 health, and 3% protection from elites. And then finally for the backpack, we have got utility system electronics. We got that 134 skill power, 87 seeker skill power, and 111 shield skill power. It's a horrible utility mod. And to be totally honest, let's see... If I can find a better mod while I'm recording this, I promise you I will put it on. But that mod right there is pretty much useless and I just threw it on there because I just could. But I have all these so I would go after something that's going to do extra outgoing healing and skill power. Um... There's more and explosive damage. That looks good right there and burn damage. It's not giving you much skill power, but it is giving you all these extra attributes with that utility mod that are going to help out your specific skills that much more. So let's go ahead and change that mod from that one. We're going to lose a little bit of skill power here. But we're going to gain either bleed damage and extra outgoing at the cost of, you know, 40, 50 skill power. But we do have that seeker skill power. So, could be worth it. But I don't need that shield skill power. Anyway, I'm going to go with this one right here. 74 skill power, 3% extra outgoing healing, and 3% explosives damage. 
Now overall this build has done me great. I've been able to solo everything that I want to. So it's been a blessing for me personally. And I wanted to help any other solo agents out there that need some help. But also have the Eagle Bear. Mine was dropped for me. And I just jumped in at the Razorback point, And a guy was that nice. So hopefully someone's just as nice to you. And just a reminder once a week. If you uh, subscribe to me. Then I will drop an Eagle Bear for you. If it drops for me which of course is highly unlikely but if it does and you are subscribed to me and you are in my raid group it will be dropped for you otherwise what i think about title update 6.1 is that hardcore mode beta is just not fleshed out at all it's just something that they threw together but I don't want to say too much harsh stuff to it right away like I just did. But um, I'm going to be doing another thing. I've already uploaded a video where I leveled 1 through 5 in hardcore mode. And I didn't really see any of a difference besides you can have permadeath. Which that's what they said it was. So what am I going to do, right? Well, agents, I hope I helped you out. Whether you're solo or team, this works very well. Whether you're PvE or PvP, this helps very well. I hope you enjoyed the build video and the gameplay before it. You guys have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, agents. Sleep tight, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and comment below in the SHD network and let me think, uh, tell me what you think about the build. Uh, I don't think it's a cookie cutter build. Um, I honestly didn't look at any videos or anything for help. All I did was just put it together on my own from what I know, did my best, and this is what I came up with. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day once again. Take care.